students let's continue with the predictive parser ll1 so in the previous video i explained how to construct the predictive parser by using the follow and function first and follow functions now let's take the another example so that it will be clear for you how to calculate and construct the predictive parser ll1 the steps that you need to follow for predictive parser ll1 is first thing is you need to find the first and follow functions first and follow function second thing is you need to construct the parsing table by using the first and follow functions and the third thing is you need to implement the stack stack implementation so by using the stack implementation with the help of top down approach you you can construct the parse tree so these are the steps you need to follow now let's see the step 1 the step 1 is we have to find out the first and follow functions. First function. So the first of E is T E dash. Uh, T is the first of E. So again T is a non-terminal. Go for the T. The first of T is again F. F is a non-terminal. Again go for F. The first of F is left parenthesis and ID. Okay. So this is one way of calculating. Otherwise you can calculate first first of f so whatever the non terminals that are present in the first you just take those non term uh, terminals that are present in the first that you can calculate first the first of s is this production first is left parenthesis and id is the next terminal next coming to first of t dash so first of t dash is in this production the first terminal is star and the next term production epsilon is the next terminal next first of t the first of t is f so go to f the first of f is already be calculated so just take those elements and then first of e dash first of e dash is in this production plus is the first element and epsilon is the second element, second production element. And finally, first of E. First of E is T. So, now coming to first of T. First of E is T. So, this is a non-terminal. So, again go for T. So, calculate first of T is, first of T already calculated here. So, just substitute left parenthesis ID. So, this is how you are going to calculate the first function. Finding out the first function. Now let's see the second follow function in the step 1. So follow function what are the productions? So with, by seeing the productions. So these are the productions. First follow of E. So follow of E you need to check the right hand side. So, whenever you are taking the productions of non-terminals, you need to check the follows of right side productions. Okay, right side productions you need to check. So, follow of E, there is no right side production and this is a starting symbol. So, starting uh, element, uh, you need to take dollar as and here follow of E, there is a right parenthesis. So, in this side, E is there in F production. So, the follow of E, E is followed with, after E, there is right parenthesis. So, right, right parenthesis. Next production is E dash. Follow of E dash. So, follow of E dash, you need to check the right productions. So, here E dash is there. But E dash, there is no other element that is present following E dash. So, what it has to do? It has to go to the left hand side. So, follow of E. So, follow of E already calculated dollar and right parenthesis. Dollar and right parenthesis. So, follow of E dash is equal to follow of E only. Because there is no production, uh, no uh, terminal or non-terminal present here. So, it again goes to left production. And so, follow of E dash is equal to follow of E. So, follow of E already calculated. Now, coming to follow of next production is T. Follow of T. So, in the right side, what is where is the T? T is here. So, the T is followed with E1. E dash. Okay. 
So here the problem. So whenever you are calculating e dash, for the first thing is the fall of t is e dash. So here this will be checked. The first of e dash, if it is belongs to the epsilon, if e dash is belongs to the uh, does not belongs to the epsilon means then uh, first of e dash is equal to first fall of e the uh, it's same. Okay. First of t, fall of t is equal to first of e. That is okay. But fall of e. But the case arises whenever e dash is equal is belongs to the epsilon. So here e dash belongs to epsilon. Then what is it? The fall of e dash is equal to the fall of t is equal to what you get? The fall of t is equal to the first of e minus epsilon union fall of e. What do you get? The fall of t is equal to here. Fall of t e dash is there. So for that, the first of e1, e dash, the first of e dash is the plus element is there. Okay, the first of e dash minus epsilon. Okay, union follow of e. So whenever it is completed, it has to go back. It has to go back to the left hand side so fall of e so finally what you get the first of e dash is the first of e dash is plus and fall of e is dollar right bracket so this you get in the same way the fall of t dash so what is the fall of t dash check here t dash is here but after t dash there is no element so it has to move like this. So fall of t dash is equal to fall of t. What is the fall of t? The same thing you need to write. Plus dollar right parenthesis. And the final one is fall of f. Fall of f is equal to. So where is f? f is here. So the t dash. So you need to find out come to the t dash. So t dash. The first of t dash minus epsilon union fall of t. So, you will get plus star right parenthesis dollar. So, this is how you have to calculate the first and follow functions. Now, let us see the parsing table. By seeing the first and follow function, the step 2 constructing the parsing table. So, the passing table, how you are going to construct? You have to take the terminals here. The terminals are id plus into left parenthesis, right parenthesis, dollar. And what are the non-terminals? E, the productions E, E dash, T, T dash, F. Okay. So, E, id. E, id. E, id. The first of E is id. The production for this is E determines T e dash. The first of e. Left parenthesis id. So in the in the place of left parenthesis id, you need to write the production of this. The first e production you need to write in the left parenthesis and id place. So id place and left parenthesis place you need to write. Next e dash. The first of e dash. What is the first of e dash? Plus comma epsilon. So, in case of plus and in case of epsilon, you need to write this production. So, plus you need to write first production and in epsilon, write second production. So, in the case of plus, you need to write e dash is equal to, e tends to plus t e dash. Okay. But there is no epsilon. So, whenever there is no epsilon, you have to go for the follow. You have to check the follow function. Okay. The follow of e dash is the follow of we have to check the follow of e dash. The follow of e dash is dollar comma right parenthesis. So in the in the place of dollar and right parenthesis, you need to write the epsilon production. Dollar and right parenthesis. Second production is over. Now coming to the third production. T determines FT. The first of T is, what is the first of T? Right parenthesis ID. So, in, in the place of right parenthesis and ID, you need to write the production T 
determines f t dash and right parenthesis in the place of right parenthesis t determines f t dash now coming to the next production t dash determines star f t dash the first of t1 the first of t1 is star comma epsilon so in the place of star you need to write the first production t dash determines star f t1 and epsilon there is no epsilon here so if epsilon is not there you have to go for the follow function so follow of t1 we have to check so what is the follow of t1 follow of t1 is plus dollar and right parenthesis so in all these places you need to write t dash epsilon plus dollar right parenthesis so plus in the case of plus you need to write t plus dollar and right parenthesis t dash epsilon and finally the last production so what is the last production f determines this so what is the first of f the first of f is right parenthesis and id in the place of right parenthesis you need to write this production in place of id you need to write this production so in place of id f determines id in the case of right parenthesis f determines this so this is how you are going to construct the parsing table so after constructing the parsing table what you have to construct you have to implement the stack by seeing this you have to implement the stack let's see the stack implementation third step stack implementation so don't be confused if you practice these uh, problems by taking uh, one or more different uh, productions then it will be easy for you and you will remember how the process is continue stack input action stack input action the starting the stack contains a start symbol e followed with dollar and the input here i am taking let's take the input is id plus id is the input i am going to give so id plus id dollar so what we have to check e id so in place of e id what is the production e determines t e dash so in place of e i need to substitute t e dash t e dash dollar id plus id dollar so next you have to check these two t id so t id what is there t id t determines f t dash so in place of t i need to substitute f t dash e dash dollar id plus id dollar so next i have to check f and id the top of the stack element and here the input f id f id here f and id this is the production f determines id so in place of f you have to place id id t dash e dash dollar id plus id dollar so here the top of the stack and the input both are the same just pop it means remove the top of the stack element now it contains t dash e dash dollar plus id dollar so check t t dash and plus so t dash plus what is this t dash plus this is a plus and this is the t dash so t dash is epsilon epsilon means empty string so there is no need to substitute here so just remove that t dash you will get e dash dollar plus id dollar now check e dash and plus e dash plus what is the production e dash determines plus t e dash plus t e dash so in place of e dash just substitute plus t e dash dollar plus id dollar so here both the top of the stack and the input stack or both are plus so just pop plus you will get t e dash id dollar now check t and id t id what is the production t determines f t1 t determines f t1 so in place of t substitute f t1 e1 id dollar okay 
सो नाउ एफ एंड आई डी चेक एफ एंड आई डी एफ आई डी वॉट इज एफ आई डी एफ डिटरमाइंस आई डी सो इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट आई डी टी वन ई डैश आई डी डॉलर सो हियर बोथ और सेम स्ट्राइक इट ऑफ दैट इज पॉप प्लस सो पॉप प्लस मीन्स वट आर द एलिमेंट्स दैट रिमेनिंग हियर टी वन ई वन डॉलर और मिनिंग सो अगेन यू चेक टी वन एंड डॉलर सो वट इज द टी वन एंड डॉलर हियर टी वन एंड डॉलर टी वन एंड डॉलर इज एप्सिलॉन एक्शन इज इन प्लेस ऑफ टी वन यू नीड टू रिप्लेस एप्सिलॉन सो एप्सिलॉन इज ऑलरेडी एम टी स्ट्रिंग सो नो नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट सो ई डैश डॉलर डॉलर नाउ चेक ई डैश एंड डॉलर ई डैश एंड डॉलर वॉट इज इट ई डैश एंड डॉलर इज सो दिस इज नॉट एप्सिलॉन ई डैश एंड डॉलर इज एप्सिलॉन सो अगेन इन प्लेस ऑफ ई डैश जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट एप्सिलॉन एम टी स्ट्रिंग सो फाइनली यू विल गेट डॉलर सो बोथ इनपुट स्ट्रिंग स्टैक एंड इनपुट स्ट्रिंग बिकम्स डॉलर नाउ द स्ट्रिंग इज एक्सेप्ट okay so this is the construction of the i mean stack implementation and the final one fourth one is parse tree parse tree so by seeing this stack you need to parse the tree so we had to follow the top down approach so top down approach just see the stack and parse the tree first is e and e determines t and e dash okay e determines t e dash so again this t is determined f t dash okay and this f determines id and t dash e dash so here uh, this t dash finally represents this represents epsilon and here e dash is again plus t e dash plus T E dash. So plus becomes uh, after plus is strike. Now next T is there. T E dash. So again T becomes F T dash. So F is finally I D and T one becomes epsilon and E one becomes epsilon. So by by following the top down approach, we are constructed the path tree. so the final string was id epsilon i plus id epsilon plus id so just remove the epsilons so final string you get id plus id so this is the input string whatever you passed so this is the successful thank you